Welcome to Girardi's. May I take your order? There's so many choices. What would you recommend? You, you look feisty. Like a beautiful tiger waiting to pounce. You need a cheese with some bite. Uh -huh. Asiago. And you, you have a wisdom about you. A wisdom that whispers mushrooms. Enjoy. Finds out the secret to a successful restaurant? A mouse. Tell that to the health department. <laughs> hey, where's Daffy? He's helping our neighbor's kid. Try it. We already got our pizza. No, try this one. Well, I like it. This one's frozen. Eh, hey, but they're pretty impressive. Pretty impressive? It's very impressive. Let me tell you something, Pinky. Uh, it's Porky? I'd like to see you make a restaurant quality frozen pizza. You couldn't. You know why? Because it's next to impossible. But I did it, and now I'm going to sell Speedy Gonzalez's frozen pizzas in grocery stores all across the country! What are they doing? I'm filming the commercial later today. Hey, you should be in it. Nah. Come on. You can play the customer. Uh, I, I don't. I could play the, the, the customer. Pinky, please. I'm talking to Senor Bugs. What did you say? Will you be in my frozen pizza commercial? Yeah, I'd love to do it. Yeah, just let Porky do it. Can I at least use your slogan? What slogan? I like it. When did I say that? When you tried the pizza. It's the perfect slogan. Not too much, not too little. I don't love it. I like it. It's pizza, man. It's not a new car. Whatever. Y <laughs> Relax, Pinky, okay? It's a commercial, not a movie. But go see the makeup girl. You, you, you're just so pink. I guess that's where he gets his name. Sorry I'm late. It, it bugs? It, it, why are you dressed like a woman? Huh? Oh, Daffy was practicing cutting hair. And a, a nice bob. Uh, you make kind of an ugly woman, though. Why does everybody say that? I think I look beautiful. Pinky, who's your dance partner? She's such a beautiful woman. I, 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 what? Uh, oh, n no. I, Cappy, finally, someone with some taste. Mm. Told you I was beautiful. Oh, he's severely dehydrated, but we're getting fluids in him, so he should be fine. Why'd you call me? You were his uh, in case of emergency on his cell phone. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm here in case of emergency? What about Bugs? No, 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 no. You're the dependable one. Cool in a crisis. Bugs is the uptight one. The stick in the mud. What are you talking about? In our friendship circle. You're the dependable one. Bugs is the uptight one. Porky's the buffoon. And I'm the stud. Hey, you're fast, right? I'm the fastest mouse in all of Mexico. Can you teach me to be the fastest mouse in all of Mexico? Or at least faster than Porky? I doubt it. Why me? Because you're the helpful one. The saint. I thought you said I was the dependable one. No, Porky's the dependable one. I thought Porky was the buffoon. 
No, Bugs is a buffoon. I'm confused. That's because you're not the smart one. I'm the smart one. So will you help me? Fine. I knew I could count on you. That's why you're the stud. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna pass out. July 27th! Well, happy extremely belated birthday. Or... Happy extremely early birthday. <laughs> hey, Speedy. Hola, Bugs. You said you took care of the rat problem. I'm not a rat. I'm a mouse. <laughs> What's going on, man? I was taking a nap. I almost drowned. I was trying to put up a shelf and I drilled into a water pipe. Why didn't you just pay someone to put it up for you? I don't get it. I won the Nobel Prize. I think I can put up a shelf. Oh, the Nobel Prize, huh? What did you get it for? Making bad decisions. Speedy, what are you doing here? I live here, or at least I used to. Wait a minute, you live in Bugs' house? Don't you own a restaurant? Can't you afford your own place? Hmm, probably. Speedy, we're adults, okay? Adults live on their own. Where do you live? With my parents. They gave me these bells. Ah! My glamour shot! Ah! My tennis trophy! Ah! My glamour shot of my tennis trophy! No! Hey! What's going on out here? We're trying to celebrate my niece's quinceañera. It's a special day and you're ruining it. Now please, senor bunny, keep it down. What is that thing? He's my dog. Oof, if you say so. But that's one ugly dog. How did you do that? I simply asserted my place as the alpha dog. See? See? He's calm, because now he knows I am not afraid of him. Down. Roll over. You see? You need to be the alpha dog to him. Alpha dog, huh? One disclaimer. This stuff works on dogs. And I'm still not convinced that that's a dog. <laughs> okay, so just a pizza? Yep, that'll be $14.99. You know, for just a couple dollars more, I could throw in a two-liter soda and some breadsticks. Yeah. Or, for an even 20, you get the soda, you get the breadsticks, and you get the cinnamon breadsticks. They're just like the regular breadsticks, but with cinnamon. Cinnamon, huh? For the dessert. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Classic upsell. <laughs> How about last night, huh? That Bugs is a real hero. Bugs isn't the hero, he's the nerd. You're really not getting this friendship circle thing. Okay, if you're gonna run a marathon, you need endurance and proper technique. Here, watch me. Like that. Like what? Go, so I can see it. Are you kidding? I just did it. I didn't see anything. Fine, I'll do it again slower. There. What? Go. Ay, Pato Lucas. Okay, I'll go in slow motion this time. Pay attention to my stride and my posture. Wow, you're fast. How come you don't enter the marathon? Because it wouldn't be fair. If I enter, I'll win. Give someone else a chance. <laughs> I guess I am the saint. Okay, give me a couple laps so I can see what I'm working with. Go. Uh, uh, uh. How do I look? Like a woman wearing high heels carrying a purse. <sighs> How far did I go? Like 10 feet. How many feet are in a marathon? Like 137,000. Hi, guys. There he goes, the hunk. I'll never beat that jock. What a stud. What a dependable, smart stud. Hey, wait, what's with the sunglasses? I'm keeping a low profile. You got some nerve! What? Because of the email? Because I said you're not a scary witch? You're not! I mean, what's the point of the big hat and the green skin and that stupid wand if you're not gonna do anything scary with them? You wanna see scary? I'll show you scary. 
You better watch who you talking to, and I ain't ah! playing. More iced tea? Not too much ice. You're mad? Why are you mad? Because I said calling yourself Speedy Thumbs Braggy. It does! I don't call myself handsome. You know what people should call you? Yark. Where did you get that dress? I thought Kathy designed something a little nicer than a smock. Ooh, and look how pretty it twirls. All my years of teaching, I have never seen such grace, such beauty on the dance floor. Thank you. I was talking to Kathy. Too bad I have a strict rule about dating my students. <laughs> Good thing for that rule. <laughs> okay, dokie, everyone. I'll see you next week. Uh, you, you sure will. I I'm gonna practice every day. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Pinky. Until Monday, Kathy. I'll be counting the seconds. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece. We will now hear opening statements in the case of Samuel Rosenbaum versus Speedy Gonzalez, proprietor of Pizza Reba. Mr. Duck, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> The evidence that I will present to you today will prove, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that this gentleman, Speedy Gonzalez, knowingly and willfully served my client dangerously hot pizza, with no warning and with no regard for the physical and emotional trauma that followed. I will prove that Mr. Gonzalez's carelessness was no accident, but instead the direct result of his endless Need for speed. We will show you that had Mr. Gonzalez simply taken more time between the oven and the table to allow the pizza to cool, then this senseless tragedy could have been avoided. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Mr. Gonzalez likes to brag that he's the fastest mouth in all of Mexico. But this is America. And in America, speed can kill. Or in this case, burn. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Gonzalez? Uh, yeah, he's not a real lawyer. Hmm, well, then this case is dismissed. Well, that was fast. I didn't even have time to get business cards printed. What about my million dollars? Why didn't you tell me you weren't a real lawyer? Get them out of my courtroom. Gringos. I guess I have to peel my own banana, too. Hey, that's my banana. A rat! For the last time, man, I'm a mouse. Bugs, help! Why should he help you? You didn't help him on that game show last night. You know, you think you show Senor Bunny a little more respect, considering he lets you live here. Uh, I don't live here. I'm just crashing here until I get back on my feet. FYI, when you crash somewhere for five years, you live there, all right? You're not a best friend. You're a terrible friend. Why am I a terrible friend? Let me answer that question with a question. <laughs> How many friends do you have besides Senor Bunny? Well, uh, let's see. You? I'm not your friend. Okay, then. Uh, there's that guy that comes over once a week and we hang out by the pool. I, I think his name is Fong or Trang. Are you talking about the guy who comes to clean the pool? Daniel? You're kidding yourself, man. Senor Bunny is your only friend. If you're not careful, soon you'll have no friends. Who needs friends? I'll tell you who. Someone with no girlfriend, no job, no credit, no hobbies, no social skills. Wait, I think I know someone like that. Daniel? No, idiot, you. Do nothing without Senor Bunny. Then what do I do? You gotta try harder to be his friend. Like how much harder? Two percent? More. Five percent? More. Seven percent? Are you out of your mind? One hundred percent. What? No one can give a hundred percent. It's physically impossible. You gotta dig deep. You gotta go to the place inside you where you've never been. My soul. You need to have a soul in order to go there. No, no, no. I'm talking about in here. Now, try. <gasps> <laughs> 
That's good enough, right? No! Look at me. You can do this. Now, try. <laughs> Harder! It hurts! Harder! I'm dying! No! You're trying! I'm going to be the best, best friend that any best friend has ever had! <laughs> Uh-oh. How am I supposed to get in that? Get in it? All you asked was if I had a valid driver's license to meet you at the DMV. You wanted a ride? I'm not a taxi driver, man. I'm in the middle of a lunch rush. Do you want restaurant quality pizza in the comfort of your own home? Hello. I'm Speedy Gonzalez of Speedy Gonzalez's Pizza Riva, telling you that you can now enjoy my pizza in a frozen variety. But don't take my word for it. He's a real life customer. Ahem. What do you think, sir? I, I like it. God! Pinky, you're overselling it. I told you you could be in the commercial, but you, you gotta pull back. You gotta play real. Let's take it again. What did you think, sir? I, I like it. Nope, it's not working. Senor Bugs, let me hear you say it again. I like it. That's it, perfect. Sorry, Pinky. There's just something about him, a likability factor. I mean, this guy's okay, but I wanna party with this guy. Let's take it again. Hey, Pinky, I'm sorry. Scooch to your left a little bit. Little more. 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 How's this? Perfecto. Well, what do you think? Hmm, he's pretty nice, I guess. Maybe I can put my hole over here. What are you talking about? You don't have to live in a hole. You got all this space. I don't know. He seems so big. I could help you decorate. Oh, it'll be fun. I have a really great eye. It's my left one. My right eye is just a regular eye. Oh, no, wait. I'm wrong. My right eye is my great eye. My left eye has x-ray vision. Hey, my eyes are up here, okay? I can totally see through that. How do you say taco in Spanish? Taco. Taco. How do you say uh, burrito? Burrito. What? Oh, so Spanish and English are the same? That's, that's crazy. Eh. Okay, let's see here. Today you did three jumping jacks, one sit-up, and half a push-up. Well, that's better than yesterday. What are you drinking? Energy drink. Gotta replace my electrolytes. It's root beer! <laughs> Man, you gotta be serious about your nutrition. You gotta think of your body as a machine. Nutrition is the fuel. What's a typical day of food for you? Well, I start with a sensible breakfast. What? A bunch of powdered sugar on a hot dog. That's not sensible, that is insensible. What about lunch? Usually turkey sandwich on wheat. Okay, that's pretty good. I just deep fry that sucker and dump a bunch of powdered sugar on top. <laughs> I'm scared to ask what you eat for dinner. I like a big dinner. Helps me sleep. I'll take a casserole dish or something big and deep. Pour about two inches of powdered sugar in there, a rack of baby back ribs, a layer of marshmallows, more powdered sugar till it's about yay high. Throw that dude in the microwave for about 45 minutes. Sprinkle with powdered sugar and serve. That's what you eat for dinner. Well, I supplement throughout the day with these protein bars. That's a tube of cookie dough. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at that commitment. That's why he's the buffoon. <laughs> No, 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 no. Pinky, you're supposed to be the deeper, not the DP. You're the man. Kathy's the woman. A woman unlike any I've ever met. Look, I'm flattered, but I'm also... Bugs. Senor Bunny? Bugs' mistress is actually just Bugs in a wig, taking a dance class with Porky. Oh, right, he said that. I signed up to be Porky's dance partner, not to be the target of your incessant floating. I mean, I certainly didn't help things by looking so beautiful. Beautiful? Who said you're beautiful? You did. I was just being nice. You're, you're clearly the most unattractive woman in the class, so I was trying to make you feel better about yourself. It's called overcompensating. 
Claro que no. Unbelievable, this guy. Ay, mira, no te dije esta cosa. Este hombre hablando así. <risa> Oh, <laughs>